high bead dietitian Stephanie Vandenberg joins us now. Stephanie, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me, Jackie. I was so excited to see the return of the sun yesterday, yes. <laughs> and just in time, we were talking about vitamin D, or the sunshine vitamin, which we can make from the sun, but it really depends on season and latitude and sunscreen use. So yeah, Not spending a lot of time outside no, in January. No, and if we do, I feel like maybe your face is exposed, but not much other skin. Yeah. So I was reading in the wintertime, you know, it can take maybe two hours at noon to make enough vitamin D from the sun, whereas in the summertime, it might just be eight or 10 minutes, uh -huh. just because we have more skin exposed. Um, but the good news is if you've never had your vitamin D checked, um, during the month of February, Hy-Vee is offering a free vitamin D screening, a thousand screening. So it is kind of a limited first come, first serve um, screening. But in just a 15 minute appointment, a simple finger stick, um, you can learn your vitamin D level. And this time of year, we do see a lot of people pretty low. Um, so when you get your results back, your dietitian can help you kind of direct you and guide you into some foods that are a good source of vitamin D. Um, with the blood levels, we're really looking for about 30 to 50. And so if that comes back low, including things in your diet like egg yolks, um, canned salmon is a really good source, certain kinds of mushrooms, and then of course like fortified milk, fortified almond milk, and then some cereals are fortified as, as well. Our sponsors of the screening are General Mills. and. Um, Cheerios has about 20% of your daily value in a serving, and then also Nature's Way um, vitamins. If if you feel like even with being intentional with food, you're still not getting enough, um, a supplement can certainly help you cover your bases there. And canned salmon, and there you have some recipes. Yeah, too. That too. So maybe something new for yeah, people. Yeah, canned salmon is super simple. On the back of this, I just followed the salmon patty recipe. Mm -hmm. So you're combining it with some bread crumbs, some egg yolks, and you can kind of flavor it up with some parsley or dill or lemon. And then I just sprayed the patties with some oil and put them in the air fryer for like 10 minutes, and they turned out beautifully golden. Um, and in a serving of the canned salmon, there's about 80% of your daily value of vitamin D. So very good source. They're quite a bit in there. Yeah, whereas some of the other foods, just to give you an idea, per day we're aiming for around 15 micrograms or okay. 600 IUs. So in two eggs, it's about 8%. Milk is around 20%. And then different kinds of mushrooms vary. The morels there were 50% in a serving. All right, Stephanie, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Stay with TV9. We'll be right back. Your